Hi, welcome back to another video. In this one, which is video number 24 of the invoice management system app. So this is the app that we are trying to build from scratch. So this is video number 24. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Remember in the last video, we did JavaScript or jQuery integration. And that is what we're gonna be utilizing in this video to accomplish this, okay? So now, it, on this window of the invoice management system, you have line one, the line one quantity, unit price, line two then, you have line two, line three, line four, up to line five. So what if the user want to add more um, lines to this invoice, let's say up to line 10, or let's say up to nine, line seven, there is this button right here, so slash hide more lines, if I click on that, okay, you can see line six all the way down to line seven is revealed, okay? And if I click on it again, it's gonna hide line six all the way down to line 10. So this is to make the user interface very clean, you know, uh, very short, you don't have to scroll all the way down unless if you are, or if it is necessary. Good. So if you enjoy videos like this, you might consider subscribing to our channel and leaving us a comment if you have any question. Now, before you go, I'll, I'm glad to inform you that we have a Patreon page. If you are interested in giving us some support, you might head over to patreon.com slash So there you can support us to be able to do a lot of these kind of videos. So all that said, I have the course right here and I'm going to take you through all this step. And believe me, it's going to be a very simple video. All right. All right, so on our application, we have line one and line two, okay? So those are the two that I showed you how to add on the um, entry or add invoice page. Good, so we're gonna be adding more lines up to line 10, but our, our um, model is already prepared for all the way up to line five, okay? But in the forms, we also have line one, line two. Yeah, we, in the forms, we only have line one and line two. So I'm gonna add the two, or uh, sorry, do the three extra lines. I'm just, just gonna copy this down here, paste it. I'm gonna change um, this to line three. So I'm gonna be going through this fast because I've already shown you how to do this. Right? I'm gonna do this. Uh, make this line four. And then we're gonna make line five. Good. So if I save this and then refresh, no, before I refresh it, yeah, let me just refresh. You will see that it's not yet added. Oh, by, by the way, this is the JavaScript that we added in the last video. I'm gonna turn that off before we proceed on this one. Okay, so we still have line one and line two. So on the entry page, oh my, um, on this entry page, sorry, I have to go to Sublime. We have uh, line one, okay, line one. Then you have line one quantity, line one unit price, line one total. You have line two, line three, sorry, line two again, line two unit price, line two total. So I'm gonna copy this one. So this was, um, this, uh, you get it, if you wanna know exactly what I'm doing here, um, I'm gonna go through it fast because I've already shown you that, how to create this, um, these fields in this format using um, crisp forms you can also check on our channel um, you'll be able to find a video that talks about how to create your tables like this or your input um, forms like this okay so that's what I'm gonna doing here but I'm gonna do it quickly because our target is to show you how to have um, this whole more lines button right so this is line uh, two I gotta change this to line three and then I'm going to create line four and line five. Okay, so you have uh, line one here, line two here, line three. This will be line three. I'm going to have this as line four. And line five. Good. So when I save it and refresh the app, you should have all the way up to line five. Great, so you have line one, line two, line three, line four, and line five. Now, we are getting into the video. So now to create line five, all the way line to, up to line 10, that's this uh, model here. In fact, what I what you can do if you don't uh, get what we're doing on that 
channel you see this line one line one uh then you have line one quantity line one unit price line one total price then you have line two line two quantity line two unit price line two total price that's exactly what i'm gonna do for line six seven eight nine and ten so that is the code uh, i have right here though it's kind of messed up i have to find a better way of showing you these codes on my site but anyways it's able to do the job let's just stick to that for now copy that i'm gonna paste it right after line five yeah so i have line six seven eight nine and ten so right after pasting that you gotta do um make migrations and migrate okay so you can see it has created line eight uh in fact it has just mixed it all up but anyway so you can do like make migrations and then migrate so while it is doing the migration we're gonna switch over to the next step which is to create the uh the to add these new fields into our form okay so i'm gonna copy that and then go to forms of py so we have line one line two yeah line three line four line five right after line five i'm gonna paste it here so we have line six seven eight nine and ten okay so let's check if this is done doing the job good so i have to run the server now okay and then save this okay so now by saving that based on the uh the technique we're gonna use we or we are using to display this if our refresh is not um coming up the line five no sorry line six seven all the way down to line ten is not coming up because we have to uh display them right here in the empty form okay so we gotta do the uh this is line five i'm gonna copy this oh i already have it so i'm gonna just copy from the site so that's easier for you to paste or to copy and paste you have line five you have line six you have seven eight eight yep nine and ten okay so we just copy that okay and then paste it right after line five good i have to indent that okay yeah so i'm gonna save it and refresh the page voila you have line six line seven line eight line nine and line ten good so we have all these uh, fields coming up like the way we want it so now to add the button that will hide right from line six all the way up to line ten is the next step okay i'm gonna scroll down make a button to so and hide additional lines so we're gonna use uh, bootstrap to create this button right before the save button we have the save button right here so I'm gonna paste it just above it I'm gonna paste it right here save it refresh the app you should see the button right there okay so slash hide more lines if I click it nothing is happening it's just a dummy button okay so now the button has this uh we have button we have an id for it called more dash lines that's the id of this button now we have a type of button we have the class btn btn primary as the styling for this button we are using bootstrap to do that style so this is the text that is going to be shown on the site and you have the closing of the button right here Okay, so that construct this button and gave it this color. Okay, good. Now, what we're gonna do is, in fact, I can change the color of this to danger so that we have them different. Good. So we have save as red and then the more lines as blue. Good, so the next step and the final step is to have the button do the action so we're gonna use jquery to jquery slide toggle okay it's a function in jquery that is gonna look for the elements that we want to grab and hide them or show them so i'm gonna copy this and then explain to you what is going on oh man if i can copy that copy and i'm gonna take it to jquery 
okay so this is the alert that i showed you on the last video i'm just gonna comment it and then paste it right here good so looking at this if i uh go to the application and i right click any of these fields let's say i want to right click um field six any of this field will do it but i'm gonna right click field six and click inspect all right so you can see right here okay div id line six okay so that um, starts here and ends here so that covers everything about line six where is line six right here okay where is line six here so you can see if i hover on that on the left side of the screen just check here okay check here if i hover on this um id or this element here you can see it covers the entire um object of line six it's, it's labeled the input and the all the classes that are in uh, that has something to do with the line six so we're gonna grab that um uh, id okay this element here this the div that has the id of div id line six that's what i'm looking for i have that here div id line six and we have div id line six quantity that is the next one if i um right click line six quantity and say inspect you gotta see that class right here div id line six quantity okay good so if i scroll down you can see uh another one um right here div id line six unit price we can go further you can see div id line six total price so that's how i am able to get all of these classes that i want to hide line six line six quantity div id line six unit price div id line six total price and then i will move to line six sorry line seven and repeat the same div id line seven then div id line seven oh unit or oh, sorry quality i'm gonna scroll i have div id line seven unit price and so on so i went all the way to div yeah line 10 okay you can see like 10 here and then i added this dot height so this is how to do jquery height so it's gonna look for all of these um ids and hide them once the uh, the, the the javascript file is loaded so this is not within any executable function not, not any action function it is in the main uh document that ready function okay if you know jquery so anything that is within this main function that start right there and ends right here is gonna run automatically so you can see this will be run as the page is loaded i'm gonna hide this okay and save it if i refresh this page i'm gonna close this if i refresh this page you can see that's automatically hided all this why well, i don't know why this file is coming out we're gonna we're gonna um check it but now you can see it has hidden uh all the others let's see why line six is coming up or oh, line five is coming up twice probably it's gonna be right here we have uh line 10 here line nine line eight line seven line six line five and five here so this is why we have that line five twice so i'm gonna delete it we refresh the page we should have only one line five good so we have line one two three four and five all the others are hidden they're right there but hidden by javascript or by jquery now to unhide them we're gonna go back to the same uh javascript file and then say okay if we click this uh if you click the element with this id has more lines this is the id the id name so once that is click it's gonna execute this function okay on click look for this and toggle with these milliseconds okay in 200 milliseconds is gonna toggle so we can say show okay since we used hide right here i can decide to put show here okay i can do show okay but when i do that it's gonna be only revealing it and if i click that button again the more line button again by the way that, that is the line here if i right click and do inspect you can see the idea of that is more lines if i click it if i only use so it's going to display it but it's not gonna hide and display it all at the same time so that is the reason we said 
toggle okay slide toggle so toggle will turn it on or hide it and unhide it it can do both function and it's gonna take 200 milliseconds to um uh, to toggle it on or off so that will create that slight effect that you see okay so if i save it and i click and i'm gonna refresh control refresh to make sure that the file is loaded if i click you can see it is sliding in and out so that is the toggle and the 200 milliseconds right there if i click it again you can see that sliding effect so if i change that to zero and all of them i'm gonna set like this and set zero right here it's just gonna be very quick we don't want it to happen like that you can see it's just fab on off on off okay so we want it to look a little bit you know fancy you know we want to act as if we build something really crazy ha huh. great so if i click on that you can see how nicely it is sliding in and out out in i hope you enjoyed that that's all i have for you in this video i hope you really learned something by the way don't forget if you are interested in helping us on doing these videos more and more you can head over to patreon and support us right there great so that's what i want to show you i guess that's all yeah in fact that's your patreon page let me show you what that looks like yeah today i'm gonna show you how our patreon page looks like we have two patreons thank you for all the support if you want to join these two people and give us more support you are highly welcome and you can see we have all the source codes of the entire application that we are teaching on youtube okay and on our website so i believe um we've covered a lot in this video so i'm gonna say thanks for viewing and see you in the next video